Good morning Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest analysis for this weekend of Saturday to Monday, November 12 to 14, 2022. And this is our English version for to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. We begin with the latest on the La Nina situation across the Western Pacific and all throughout the world. As of this uh, moment, as we speak of November, this is the latest from the uh, official NOAA CPC ENSO forecast issued uh, last November 10th, 2022. And as of this time, uh, during the October, November, December uh, uh, forecast, it's still at 100%. And uh, it is expected to weaken for the next six months. And by December, January, February, it will be down at 76%. It's currently a moderate La Nina. That's why we are experiencing some above average uh, easterly trade winds across the uh, Western Pacific, including the Philippine Islands. And uh, when we reach uh, February, March, and April next year, 2023, we expect the La Nina to be gone, okay, with the uh, returning or the return of the uh, neutral conditions or the La Nada uh, come uh, February, March, April. That will be around at 57%, and the probability will increase up to uh, 72% uh, around April, May, and June. And it will be uh, like that until uh, June, July, August when we see another trend of uh, weakening with the increased likelihood of uh, El Nino. But this is still uh, around uh, nine months uh, forward, okay, or nine months to go. So there are still some changes in the forecast. So uh, the... <coughs> So the most likelihood it will be neutral conditions during the springtime of 2023, February, March, April, and through the start of the rainy season or the wet season across the Philippine Islands uh, on the uh, Type 1 climate uh, around June, July, and August. Okay, so expect more rainfall across the Philippine Islands, across the Bicol region, Visayas, and Mindanao this coming uh uh, winter months and we expect uh, hopefully we don't have a very strong tropical cyclone during uh, intense La Nina or even moderate La Nina only uh, low pressure systems tropical depression or tropical storm where uh, typhoon or super typhoon intensity will be uh, zero to none okay so that's the latest from the La Nina situation. So don't forget to bring your umbrellas because every afternoon or evening there will be still some chances of rainfall in various sections of the country. And if we uh, take a look now at the latest graph set, this is for uh, uh, this Saturday evening, November 12 until November 14, Monday. Prevailing easterlies will prevail will be the uh, usual uh, weather system across the Philippine Islands affecting Visayas, the coastal waters of uh, eastern Mindanao, Surigao del Norte, mm, the eastern coastal areas of the Bicol region, eastern Luzon from northern Quezon up to uh, uh, northern Cagayan, and also the Batanes and Babuye Kobab Islands. So uh, some uh, passing showers and thunderstorms will be expected across these areas. Elsewhere, fair weather will be expected, uh, calm conditions, zero to just uh, light winds of uh, 20 kph will be expected, and heat index will still uh, shoot up to a high of uh, 40 to 45 degrees centigrade, so don't forget to uh, drink lots of fluids, water, more especially to uh, prevent some heat strokes and passive heart attacks when we have the massive uh, uh, high heat index okay uh, elsewhere across the, the western pacific we are uh, monitoring a new tropical cyclone this is a uh, uh, tropical storm named yamaneko which is currently uh, far away uh, roughly in 5000 kilometers to the east of extreme northern luzon moving towards the north it is not expected to uh, pose a threat to the uh, philippine islands 
Okay, and we have a new equatorial trough here near the equator, bringing some thunderstorms to the south of Mindanao. We also have here the developing frontal system, cold front here. Uh, the northeast monsoon is currently uh, on a break right now. Nothing unusual, but uh, next uh, early next week, uh, sometime uh, Monday or Tuesday, there will be a slight surge of the monsoon across extreme northern Luzon. So slightly cooler conditions will be expected. So here's the fast animation. As you can see, here's the uh, latest from the uh, University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. Here's uh, Yamaneko moving slowly towards the north, far away from the Philippine Islands, 5,000 kilometers away. All clear at, a, at our responsibility. Okay, and here's the uh, zoom in satellite animation from UMETSAT of windy.com. Some rain showers and thunderstorms are approaching the eastern seaboards of uh, Samar and uh, Leyte. So expect, expect some thunderstorms over those areas. And also some patches of uh, small isolated thunderstorms can be seen across uh, southern Catanduanes. Lagunoy Gulf and also here over the areas of Panay and uh, the southern most part of Mindanao. As for the rainfall accumulation forecast from European model, courtesy of windy.com, for the next three days we expect more rain showers and thunderstorms across eastern uh, Cagayan, eastern uh, sections of northern Quezon, eastern Bicol region, including Catanuanes, Camarines Norte, and uh, Partido District of Camarini Sur, Albay, Sursagon, some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms will also be expected over uh, central Bicol region, including Naga City, Iriga, but uh, these are only at uh, medium levels or 50% chance. Over at uh, the eastern sections of the Visayas, that's the uh, possible uh, rain showers and thunderstorms that we are observing right now so that will persist until uh, monday isolated thunderstorms will also be expected across the visayas palawan and some portions of mindanao if we take a look at the uh, pressure and wind forecast also from the european model or of winter.com for the next three days until tuesday so uh, for today um, so for uh, today, uh, Sunday afternoon, we expect some light uh, northeasterly winds shifting from the easterlies, but still mainly a generally uh, easterly trade winds. If we take a look at the mid-level um, motion of these winds, and on uh, Monday uh, afternoon, we expect uh, the easterlies or the northeasterly trade winds still affecting uh, the uh, various sections of the country becoming uh, northeast monsoon over Batanes and Babuyung Group and the rest of extreme northern Luzon. And on Tuesday uh, afternoon, northeast uh, slight northeast monsoon will be expected across extreme northern Luzon. Okay, so that's the latest for this weekend of uh, November 12 to 13. And we'll see you again next week. Happy weekend to all. This is Mike Padua saying, hope you have a great uh, weekend ahead.